If you're like us and you have a central vacuuming system, you might run into a problem just like we did. So the issue here was that um, the suction was just not good anymore. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I turn this on. You can see the suction just isn't very powerful. So we learned how to troubleshoot and how to fix this um, for if it happens again without having to call somebody because calling somebody costs a few hundred bucks and you can usually resolve this in a few simple steps which we'll show you today. Step one is to check all the other outlets to make sure that they haven't been left open for some reason or there's something kind of catching open. We had that one time where um, we just have some of this extra baseboard stuff lying around uh, and we were moving stuff around and we were vacuuming at the same time. It ended up kind of lodging it open a little bit. Um, so that's the first thing to check. We have four outlets. Uh, one upstairs, one on the main floor, one in the basement, one in the garage where the essential vac system is. So the very first thing to do is check all four outlets to make sure none of them have been left open as that will obviously reduce the suction power throughout the entire system. So step two, here we are at the central vacuuming unit. What we're going to do is we're going to do the obvious, which is drop those clips. Let's see if it's dirty inside. Yeah, it's dirty, but it's not horrible. Let's see, so make sure it's not completely full, which obviously is not. Take a look up in the screen. Uh, yeah, it's a bit dirty there. As you can see, it's still open. Uh, it's a good opportunity to clean that out, and I'm going to do that. But nonetheless, it's not completely obstructed. So between the filter and the unit not being completely full, um, I don't think this is the problem. So we're going to carry on here. Now that you've completed step one, which is to check all the vents to make sure none of them have been propped open, and you've completed step two, which is to check the central vacuuming unit itself to make sure it's not full and that the screen is still clean. Step three now is to do some more troubleshooting to figure out where the problem is. Most likely there's something stuck somewhere and you need to figure out where. Here's a basic diagram. Again, we've got one vent upstairs, one on the main floor, uh, one in the basement there, and then we've got one in the garage. So process of elimination, right? So I check this one and let's say the, the pressure is bad. I check this one, let's say the pressure is good, check this one's good, and this one is good. Then obviously the issue is somewhere from here to here. Because at some point all of these converge to get back into the garage for the central vacuuming unit. Um, another example, the one that we ran into, we check the upstairs, suction's not good. Check the main floor, not good. Check the basement, also not good. We check the garage, the garage connection is great. Like there's no problem. So more than likely our problem is somewhere between here where they all converge and all the way through to the end itself. What we do at this point or what we did at this point was we got one of those uh, toilet augers. If you don't know what an auger is, this is an auger and there's different types. But basically the way it works, let's do that. You extend it as long as you need to and just take, tighten it up Stick it through the pipe, hold on to it, and this basically moves it around. So you can try to get stuck debris loosened up to get it out of there. And then when you're done, some of them retract automatically. This one doesn't, you just take it and you basically stuff it back in. There's your basic auger. And in case you're curious, no, I have not used this for the toilet. It is brand new. So it has not gone in the toilet and then through my uh, central vacuum lines. That would be disgusting, but that's just my opinion. All right, moving on. And we basically started um, going through each of these spots, but again, figuring out that, hey, it's somewhere further down the line. We went looking around and luckily our uh, basement isn't completely finished. So we're able to look up in the ceiling. Uh, and I'll show you, we found basically a spot here which you can open up stick an auger in and look for debris and other stuck items and see if you can clean that out. Looking at the line, here's from the basement, goes up in there, get our unfinished basement, makes this easy. You can see the ones from upstairs converge here, runs along here, and then you're going to see right there, there's an end cap there basically. So you open this up, Uh, I can do a quick visual inspection. What we ended up doing is taking an auger and we fed it in here, up and down that way towards, that's towards the garage end. So we fed an auger down there, shook stuff up, 
um, activated the vacuum cleaner to see if it could you know, suck through any debris that was in that line. We also stuck the auger in and traced it back that way, as far back as we could go. Same sort of thing, move stuff around, activate the vacuum, see if we could clean it up. Um, so that's what we did at this point. And this is just an end cap. It allows us to look for debris, clean it out a bit. So that's what we did next. So after checking that, coming back to the diagram, we have the same problem. It hasn't been fixed. The suction at these three vents or outlets, not good. Um, we clean the section here. Everything seems to be working fine there. So what else do we have? Um, actually, I should draw you a better diagram and I'm just gonna correct this quickly. This actually connects up um, in here like this. So forget that part. It actually goes like that. So now we've checked and we've cleaned through there. We've checked that. This seems to be working well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight to the vacuuming unit and we're gonna look for another one of those uh, those spots where you can basically open it up and see if you can clean that out. So here's the other location that I was telling you about. So right where the central vacuuming unit is here, you can see this is that third outlet or the fourth outlet in the garage that we check and it's working great. This is where everything comes in from the house. So they all converge, all three levels converge. They end up here, they get sucked up uh, and into the central vac unit. So down here, just like I showed you in the basement, you can basically drop this open, just an end cap. And then you can see there's, there's junk in there. I can dump that out. So that's a little bit, but you know what? I just finished doing this and this is what I want to show you. Uh, it turns out that was the the issue that was the culprit because this here look at all the stuff in there that is what came out when we opened this the first time that's right all of that stuff it's disgusting it's probably never ever been cleaned um but that was it basically cover that up and then we're going to go and test the vacuum again and basically i'll show you the difference so now that we've completed our troubleshooting we've cleaned everything we possibly could clean Stick this back in, test it out. And you can see now, it's finally back to normal. So I hope those troubleshooting tips helped. That easily saved us a few hundred bucks. And actually the, the inconvenience of not being able to vacuum properly for a week or more was, uh, was actually getting pretty annoying. So that's all you have to do. Some basic troubleshooting, some basic cleaning, central vacuuming system. Beyond that, um, isn't too complicated other than maybe the central vacuum unit motor itself. But considering that was still great, we just did a few troubleshooting steps, did some basic cleaning, and everything is back to normal. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, let me know by hitting that like button. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of all of our latest DIY and tool review videos. Thanks for watching, everyone.